Hi boys and girls, let's talk about atomic and ionic radius. Two of our four trends. Okay, so All right, you go ahead. Atomic radius is half the distance between identical atoms. Okay. So half the distance? Yeah, just like radius. Okay, so half, half the distance between identical atoms. So it means if I had two calcium atoms or two hydrogen atoms, it's half the distance between the two atoms. Okay, here's one atom, here's another atom. Wait, I probably should make them identical, shouldn't I? Yeah, that'd be helpful. Okay, so we've got, <laughs> you know what? Half the distance between them, right? Half the distance between them. Yeah. Great. Visual. Okay, awesome. go to three out two, please. Yes, ma'am. Okay, so atomic radius, the pattern, Okay. decreases across from left to right. Okay, so we're going to say this is atomic radius and that it, from this way to this way, it decreases. Okay. What about from top to bottom? Okay, so when you go from top to bottom, it increases. Okay. Okay, the reason for this is look at sodium, magnesium to aluminum. Every time I move over one, I'm adding another proton, which is nuclear charge. Those protons are positively charged. They pull on the electrons. So the more protons you have, the tighter those electrons are pulled into the nucleus. So the radius is smaller. Okay. I, I get it. Okay. So. As you move down, you're adding energy levels. Energy levels are further away from the nucleus, so your atomic radius is larger. I got it. So if I'm going to recap here... Um, let's see, Let me get back to where I want to be here. So as we move across, you're saying we're, so this is atomic radius. As you're moving across, you're adding more protons. Right. right. So you're becoming more positively charged, which means your radius is getting smaller. Okay. So then as you're moving down, you're adding more energy levels. Right. So the energy levels thing is actually pretty easy to see. You got nucleus, then you got one energy level, two energy levels, three energy levels. Right. Okay, so it makes the radius even bigger. Exactly. Perfect. Okay, so ionic radius is the other one. That was a little bit harder to comprehend a little bit. So so what do we know about that? So for ionic radius we have cations, which okay. lose electrons, and anions which gain electrons. Okay. So remember What's really important with the cations is that nuclear charge. So my protons are pulling on the electrons, right? That's where radius comes from. Okay. So if I'm positively charged and I'm pulling on the electrons and I take one or two electrons away, did my radius get smaller or bigger? Well, if you're taking two electrons away, what's going to happen? The, the radius is going to go a little bit smaller? Right. Okay. So cations become smaller than the neutral atom or the atomic radius. Okay, so we're saying they have a smaller radius than the regular atom. We'll say that right. that's the neutral one. Okay. And um, then for anions, what's important is what we call electron repulsion. So if I have six valence electrons and I add two more in, okay. they're going to repel each other. They're this, they have the same charge, so they're going to repel. You're, you're sticking in electrons where they don't really fit anyway, so they're going to spread out more. Right. Okay, so... So the radius would get larger because the electrons repel each other. Okay, so then the regular atom. Okay. So this is all just a relative thing. We have our trend for mm -hmm. atomic radius, but an ionic radius is just whether or not the positive or negative ion is smaller or bigger than the regular ion. Right. And the more they lose for cations, the smaller they will be. Okay. So if you have an element that loses two versus one that only lost one, the one that lost two will be even smaller. Okay. So so you'll say that uh, the radius for a sodium ion is going to be greater than the radius for a positive, right. a two positive charge. Okay. Right. And that follows the same pattern as atomic radius. Okay. Anions, the more they gain, the larger they get. All right. That sounds good to me. Easy enough.